Hello everyone, this is Mike. This is number 19 in the SDR Uno series of videos. Uh, in this video I'm going to discuss the pre-select filters, the hardware filtering, RF filtering. For the RSP1, uh, there's 8 uh, pre-select filters, and the RSP2, which has 10. The RSP1 has uh, low-pass filtering from 0 to 12 megahertz, uh, band-pass filtering from 12 to 30, uh, band-pass again from 30 to 60, and so forth and so forth. Now, what is the LPF, BPF, and HPF? What is all that? Well, LPF is low-pass filtering. allows low frequencies to pass and attenuates high frequencies. High-pass filtering allows high frequencies to pass and attenuates the lower frequencies. And band-pass filtering allows a range of frequencies to pass. And as you can see here, we have low-pass, band-pass, and high-pass. This is the RSP1. The RSP2 is low-pass, uh, band-pass, and high-pass. When you're tuning around an SDR Uno, actually not not actually not tuning around, when you launch SDR Uno, and I always say give yourself some separation between the tune and the LO. The LO local oscillator is going to determine which pre-select filter is going to be selected. It's all automatic and it's all behind the scenes. So let's pull up the RSP2 picture again because I'm using the RSP2 in this demonstration and you can see them at 5 megahertz, 5, five decimal uh, 064. It's going to be the low pass filter. Now once I go past uh, 12 megahertz, it's going to be a band pass filter. And band pass allows a range of frequencies. So it's going to allow just that range from 12 to 30. Everything else is going to get attenuated. It's going gonna, it's gonna to filter it out. From 1 kilohertz to 12 megahertz is going to be low pass so it's going to allow low frequencies to pass and attenuate everything else meaning from 12 up it's going to attenuate from 12 down it's going to come through when you run an IF bandwidth of let's say 10 megahertz and your LO is going to be right on that that switch that change make sure that the LO is within the band that you want to be able to listen to otherwise the wrong pre-select filter is going to be selected so if I'm at 12 megahertz let's put this at 12 All right, I have it muted because it's rather loud right now and the LO goes below 12 but I'm on the upper edge it's going to select the it's going to select the low pass filter it's not going to select the band pass so just keep an eye on that LO it's not really that drastic but I'm just I'm just giving you a, a, I guess, a crash course in the filtering and, and how it works. And hopefully this video was a little bit helpful. And as always, there will be many, many more. And I touched upon almost everything with SDR Uno. I don't think I, um, I don't think I missed anything. So I'm going to pick up with either HD SDR or SDR Console or Cubic SDR. It's going to be one of the three, and we're going to do a series with those. And we'll, we'll get like 10, 15 videos, and then we'll pick another front end, and we'll do another set of videos. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like the videos, if you don't like the videos, all positive and negative comments, it's fine. Just leave it, and I'll be more than happy to, uh, to respond to all the comments. And once again, thank you, and best of 73.